Good morning. So I have some uh, drying cream on my face, like uh, on my many blemishes. So just ignore that. I'm about to shower. I got a bit of a late start this morning. I was supposed to wake up at five. Today's my day off. Um, but you know, I have been doing a morning routine. I've fallen off a bit recently this last week. Um, I was sick and some stuff going on with my cat, which I'll explain in this video. Um, so I was like sleeping more, but I woke up at 6.30 instead of 5 and didn't get to do my morning routine, so I just fed my dog and uh, ate breakfast and stuff. Um, then, yeah, I need to shower, so that's what I'm going to do first. I want to get back into my cold showers because I actually stopped that for a while because I felt like uh, I was taking too long in the shower <laughs> like it it just kept increasing so it was taking up a little bit too much time for me in the morning but I can control that so want to do warm shower for about two minutes and then cold for about a minute and then I'm going to do a face mask which I'm going to show you what I what I've been doing or I've only done it like once but um I've been doing it like once a week, or that's what I plan on doing, and hopefully to reduce the scarring that's on my face and um, help clear some acne. I've also been drinking apple cider vinegar every morning, two tablespoons, and then I put a diluted apple cider vinegar, like 50-50, on my face at night. I'll show you that mask when it comes to it, but I'm gonna go shower, make today as productive as possible, um, yeah. Okay, all you need is baking soda. I suggest that you have it fresh. Like, don't use the one that's been open in your fridge or your pantry for the last five months. Um, just have one, like, for your beauty stuff. And then a lemon. So all you do is mix the two. I do, like, two teaspoons of the baking soda. And then just squeeze like a teaspoon. I just do a slice of lemon, fresh lemon preferably. Um, I saw recipes that had like the lemon juice from a jar, but I feel like that's not really lemon juice to be honest. So it's gonna fizz. And then you just mix it up it makes this like paste so yeah then you just want to put that on your face so i'm about to do that so we're gonna jump right into a physique update it's been about three weeks into the cut yeah um almost four three and a half so honestly i didn't do that great this past week just like with my morning routine and stuff um, and also I already ate breakfast this morning and I had like my cup of coffee and like a couple cups of water. So this isn't as, um, consistent as my last one. Well, it's not consistent with my last one because that one was on an empty stomach. Trixie, stop. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. Um, honestly, I don't think there's that many, you know, I haven't had significant changes, but it's whatever. It is what it is. So, here we go.
extremely exhausted right now. And it is Memorial Day, May 29th, 2017. I didn't record any more this past Wednesday from all the other clips. But yeah, today I worked and it was really busy and I'm just really tired, but I'm trying not to take a nap. So I'm going to get up and eat. It's 6.40 p.m. Um, I guess I'm going to show you guys my meals that I have for this week. And um, you guys saw my little physique update. I honestly am not seeing that much change now. I did in the first week, but that just happens. It's just because I was eating more clean. Um, so this week I, like, instead of rice, I did cauliflower rice, and then, um, I'll show you my meals, but it's just, like, less starchy carbs, and just really keeping an eye on the snacks that I choose and stuff like that. So, I'll show you my meals. I made them last night. Honestly, I'm not very good at cutting. This is my first like attempt at a, a longer cut, 12 week cut. And uh, I have gained weight, not much. I don't, I can't really fluctuate that much just because of my size, but um, I don't really know. I am eating a lot cleaner, but I, I don't know what the problem is to be honest, so. It's not that big of a deal to me. The scale doesn't bother me. I just like looking good, um, which I do. I think I look fine and yeah, but I would like to like get a really flat stomach where you can just see, you know, my abs if I just stand there. So without flexing, that's the goal. <laughs> this is my lunch for the week. So peas and then Tri-colored, tri-colored pearl couscous. Super simple. Um, pretty high in protein for just something so simple. That's what I'm talking about. How basic I'm going and how minimal and meh I'm going. It tastes good to me, to be honest. But yeah, this is what I'm saying. I'm going down. And then for dinner, I'm about to eat it right now. So like I said, I am not having rice this week. I usually, I always eat rice. I love rice. I went to cauliflower rice and then this is Gardein mandarin chicken, the vegan mandarin chicken. So yeah, cauliflower rice is basically zero everything, <laughs> just a bunch of micronutrients. Obviously, this is processed and stuff like that, but it's just one way of me getting in my protein. Oh, this is broken. One way of me getting in my protein, and then I will have a big salad with it maybe later. Still drinking the same protein. I've been having that every single day, and I think I'm going to drink some BCAs with this because that sounds, sounds good. So, yeah, I'll probably go upstairs and watch, a, watch a YouTube or something. So, yeah, I'll see you in a second. Good morning, y'all. This video is all over the place, so I apologize. It is now Wednesday, May 31st. So this video is like a combination of four days, but uh, this is one something I wanted to show you guys because I've been doing it every day for like three weeks now, almost, I think. Apple cider vinegar every morning. So I already put it in two tablespoons. This is the one I use, Bragg's. I think everybody uses this organic and you want it with the mother I'm not really sure what that means but yeah um, raw unfiltered this is like five bucks at the grocery store and yeah I do two tablespoons and then I used to fill up this whole cup with water to dilute it even more but to make it easier for me to chug I just do that much like half of it and then I can chug it really fast. Well, I add lemon to it. 
Sorry, my voice is like screwed. As much as we can. <laughs> and then I save that to like suck on right after. It's not like <clears throat> the worst thing in the world. It's better than straight apple cider vinegar. It's just like, you don't taste anything while you're drinking it. It's just that kick at the end that's like, oh. but yeah, um, I'm doing it more so for my acne, uh, but there's like tons of benefits apparently, boost your immune system. Um, I've been sick for like the past forever, so that's not really working. <clears throat> uh, weight loss. I don't know, look it up. There's like tons of benefits to drinking apple cider vinegar. But for me, it was for the apple cider vinegar. They say to do it for at least, um, like, I don't know, maybe a month or two, you know, to see if it clears up your skin. I haven't really gotten any like crazy new blemishes, but I don't know if it's because of that or if it's like the steroids that I'm on from being sick or I, like, I honestly don't know. My skin is just, it just sucks. So, um, just doing it because it's not really, like, there's still more benefits to it. So I'm just going to keep it up and hope for the best. Here's my beautiful little breakfast. It's so good. So half a cup of rolled oats, and I cook those in silks, nut, nut milk, the um, protein one. So it has 10 grams of added protein per cup. This is chocolate PB2. I only did one serving. Mix that with water, of course, and then I have about six strawberries cut up, and then I put sugar-free syrup on top, maybe like a fourth cup, um, whatever the serving size is. So, it's so good. Um, usually what I do for during breakfast time, I showed this on my Instagram story, um, but there's this app, Medium. This one's called Medium for Android and Apple, and it's basically just like reading stuff, like articles. And there's this guy, Benjamin Hardy, on here that I really, really like. Um, but basically, there's all these really good articles about, you know, self-improvement or um, like entrepreneurship and things like that. So usually I'll read an article or two or do something while I eat breakfast. Go download it. <laughs> Here's the face mask after it's all hardened. <laughs> Can't really talk very well. Um, I'm gonna wash this off with. Oh, it's like going down my chest. Okay. Uh, basically, it's. I don't know if I already said this, but from my understanding, this is like a DIY microdermabrasion, obviously not to that extent, but you want to rub it in as you wash it off and you can feel like the little crystals. Um, don't do it too hard because you can scratch your skin, but yeah, just like gently and it makes your skin super soft and I use the lemon because um, you can just use water, but the lemon to lighten my scarring. So yeah, we're going to wash this off and then I'll talk about my cat. Here's my little baby sleeping, obviously. I don't want to wake him up, but his little arm is shaved because, um, well, my cat is, I'm just gonna make this as quick as possible because I'm sure not that many people are interested, but um, my cat has been in my life for 16 years. He is almost 16 years old. And um, a few weeks ago, he stopped eating. He stopped like pooping. He lost a lot of weight really quickly, um, so he is going through kidney failure at the moment, which is pretty common in older cats. I did not know that my other two cats did not have this problem, uh, but yeah, he's going through kidney failure, possibly diabetes. He did get treated for the kidney failure. Um, treatment is just given fluid so they can flush out his system, get the toxins out so he can start using the bathroom regularly and all this, but, um, it's been like a week and a half process and he's been in and out of the vet for, well, he was in and out for a few days and he's been home for like the weekend in the past couple days, but he's really not eating on his own. We have to pill him every morning, every night. We have to put supplements in his food 
and my sister who um, she was a teacher so she's off for summer break so she's been kind of round the clock taking care of him I mean it's only been a couple days but syringe feeding him force feeding him and um, he seems like pretty happy he likes to cuddle with us like at night he meows still he's walking around he's not hiding which is like distinctive of when a cat wants to die um, but we really we don't know what to do at this point just because um, this isn't like a this isn't doable for us like we cannot force feed him and he's not pooping so like that's not normal for a cat that's really bad and it's just gonna come back I feel like the toxins are just gonna come back because he's not you know pooping anything out so we're going back to the vet today in a few minutes actually I just have to straighten my hair um, but he's they're gonna teach us how to give sub-Q fluids I have done this for a dog before it's when you put the needle in their back and then like a lump of fluid fills up so it absorbs in their skin basically to prevent dehydration um, but we're before we do that we're just gonna figure out what the best route is at this point because we don't know what to do um, just because this isn't very manageable for the long run um, it's unfortunate but yeah so that's what's going on with my cat um, I'm going to put a change of subject I'm going to put a short little back workout at the end of this video and this day I filmed this on Sunday it was after work and I just really wasn't feeling a workout and I usually do back and biceps and um, I only did back this day because my right forearm has been killing me I don't know it feels like my bone is like bruised on the inside I don't know what it is really like a tendon maybe um, but it's I feel a lot of discomfort uh, when I lift things and I use my I think it's just overuse of my arms because I um, like constantly and putting pressure on them like at work and working out and everything so I took a break from biceps and just did back this day so it's short and simple but still got a good workout in so enjoy that and I will see you guys in the next video so the lighting in my bathroom is pretty good <laughs> so this is where I can see results more so than any other place. Not bad.